so a dark skin mutation brings with another dark skin mutation, the kid's going to have dark skin. And you, know, we, you can see it changing. Um, like, so the, the bono we, we've observed bonobos right now, they're standing upright and carrying stuff with both hands. Now, say, way, way back in the day when the African, um, the plains, the, the trees started to proceed, like a, you know, a long time ago. And it, it forced the primates to go onto land out of the trees to find food because life adapts. Now, the, the certain muscles that were strong and the, the body shape that they had for climbing in the trees, as they come out of the trees, they would start to lose that as they started wandering around in the grassland. So different muscles would start to recede, new muscles would build, and you could see the body changing, taking form. Now, it's not going to be you're not going to have a primate give birth to a human. It, 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 that, that goes against evolution. That's not what evolution But it's the little minute changes over a long, long time. It shapes the animal. You know, it, you can see, like right here. I mean, I could eventually see how this animal could turn into to a, turn like a badger or something like that over a few million years. You know. And that's, and that's what I believe is, is most people that I've encountered and they deny evolution or, or natural selection, they, they, don't, they don't have an understanding of it. They don't understand how it works or, you know, what it produces. They, they just don't know that, the, I mean, the, the, they know what other people have told them, but the actual research, they don't know how it works. I mean, natural selection, we've observed that in, in pigeons and stuff, I mean, and, and horses. That's how we can, that's how we get a, a, a teacup chihuahua. You know, it's, it's, I don't believe those were running around a million years ago. I wouldn't have survived. But you can see how you change the, the, the shape of the dog. No, it, it is still a dog. It's always going to be the dog. But you look at, like, um, wolves and dogs. Look at the difference. Now, they're, they're two different animals. And then you look at, like, um, uh, say, say, like, a, a platypus, a duck-billed platypus. Never heard of it. Never heard of a, a platypus? It's a it's an animal that has it's a it's a mammal. Mm -hmm. It has flippers, um, lays eggs. It it releases milk through its fur that that, that the babies eat. Um. You know, it, it's there's, there's no other mammal like it. It's like a cross between it and, and, and another animal. I mean, and there's, there's, uh, this book constantly claims that there's no trans, there's no transitional species, or but th there's hundreds, literally. Yeah. So, can we look at a scripture. Sure. So we can, in, in John chapter three. John chapter three. What page? Um, Thirteen thirty. For God loved the world so much that he gave his only begotten Son in order that everyone exercising faith in him might not be destroyed but have everlasting life. Stop there. You bleed out. Um I mean uh, I, I can't I can't say uh, I, I don't have uh, I have a few reasons not to and I, I have a few reasons to believe it. Um I'd say I'm undecided at this point. Verse 17. For God has sent forth his Son into the world, not for him to judge the world, but him for him to save, be saved through him. 18. He that never the he that exercises faith in him is not to be judged. He that does not exercise faith has been judged already, because he has not exercised faith in the same in the, in the name of the only begotten Son. 19 and 20. Now this is the basis for judgment, the light that has come into the world, but men have loved the darkness rather than the light, 
for their works were wicked. For he that practices vile things hates the light and does not come to the light and the order that his works may not be reproved. But he that does what is true comes to the light in order that his works may be made, made be made manifest as having been worked in harmony with God. So this is the basis of Jehovah's Witnesses the world over. This is where, why we come by and try to enlighten one. So, okay. But uh, what, like, what is your definition? If you had to define faith, what would you define it as? Let's go to the Bible. Hebrews is in towards the back. Hebrews chapter um, 6. Talks about talks about faith. Because of, am I supposed to just to say this evidence isn't true? What, what, what is what is? Because what is, I I can't. I mean, if that's what you're asking me to do, I can't no, turn a blind eye to evidence. No. What, what is it has to do with um, Jesus dying for our sins so that we can get... Well, it, it doesn't, but, I mean, it, it's un helping myself to understand the world around me. And it's something you're telling me isn't true. No, no, I, I, did, not, I did not. So I, you I believe evolution sin. could be true? If it's organic, like like our definition... But that, that's, that's not a definition I'm talking about, though. I'm talking about okay. an animal evolving into uh, another species, such as humans evolving from primates. Because, I mean, I, I can see that if animals, animals have evolved, do you just say that that's not true? No, if, if, if we have the facts to show so that... So, you're saying evolution, it's a good possibility that, that it is true? As long, long as it, it, it doesn't take away from the, the glory of, of God as being our as being our grand creator. If it's, if it's still highlighting him as the grand creator. Okay, yeah. so it's saying it's that these animals did evolve. Okay, that's what the facts show. We can't argue with the facts. Okay. But what does that have to do with my salvation? Well, it, it has to, I mean, it's, it's the same reason that, that we have science. It's the same reason that we have medicine. You know, it, it's, you know, you, you're reaping all the, the benefits of science, but you're saying it's not useful. You know, it's, you, right now you're, you're, you're reaping the, the benefits of science. You're using science. Um, science has shaped the world that, that we live in, you know, and just because you know, something might go against that something that, that men have wrote thousands and thousands of years ago when they had no understanding of this. And so there, there's a reason that, that, that they might not have incorporated it because they would have no understanding about that. And now with new evidence, I mean, that I, I don't think it, it's, it's uh, you know, it, it, it does either or the other. You know, it, it's just, it's just facts. Um, I mean, because because in the the uh, in the Bible, it's you know we, we don't we don't know how long um, you know Adam was on the earth for you know and maybe uh, you know maybe we, we did evolve to a certain point and then God put the spirit into the human and that was when humans were born you know maybe he, he used evolution to build up to that point but my thing is is this book right here saying that evolution isn't true. It's not it's not agreeing with what you're saying. This book says it's not true. Now I have the facts that that, that go against this book right here. Now, this book should say life, how did it get here by evolution or creation? That's the question. Yeah, but that, that's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about with, within the within the, the paragraphs it says that evolution isn't true and it gives several examples of, of fossils and I found evidence to the contrary. 
you know, so that there's things in this book that aren't true. And just the fact that they, you know, that, that they, they in intentionally misquoted people, you know, that, that kind of makes me think even more that, it's, that this book isn't true. You know. Because, like, like right here, it has, um, it says that, it states the element of chance is the driving force of evolution. That's completely false. That is textbook false. Um, natural selection and survival is the driving forces of evolution, not random chance. So that, it's just something that they, I mean, I don't know if whoever the author was, if he didn't have his facts right or if he's being deceived, but that's just, it's false. The statement is false. Um, It claims on page 20, claims that the fossil record does not support gradual transitional forms. That's false. There's hundreds. Maybe, maybe back then in 1985 it didn't. Would that be? Yeah, yeah, but um, th there were even some then. But I, they need to, they should revise there. They, 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 and they have, that's why they came out with these brochures. We don't, we so do you have a new version of this? We, we don't offer this publication any longer. It's not a... So it's taken think, off the shelf? Yeah, I think it's out of circulation. So none of the none of the brothers and sisters are using this at all? Probably in their, their libraries. Yeah. But, but I'm sure they have the updated brochure. Then we have the book. I think you have... Let me see when it is. Yeah, let me see. Is there, is there, when, when did this one come out? Since then, we've had other publications. See, now this one came out in 98. Okay. So, um, so that was, it was 14 years ago. So since, like I said, since the, yeah. since the start of that book, we've had updated information. Yeah. And, and that's, what, that's what we're encouraged to do. If we're going to reference something, we need to reference the most um, current. Now see, that's why I like to use uh, Wiki, because that's what I use for all my things. And everything here has references, multitude of references. Um, I mean, but, but so, so you, you do admit that, that animals, you know, most likely did evolve and so well, into the I, animals. I had, to, I had to read it. I gave, I, I hear what you're saying. Now, if you read the evidence, yeah. and that's what I would do, I said, based on what, what, what Mike have told me, but I haven't read it for myself. Yeah, well, I mean, you, you can take these and read them if you want. Let's talk about faith. Okay. And James is actually the next chapter.